In this video, you'll learn about the various vertical scrolling modes in the grid view, including the following. The default scrolling mode when the view is scrolled one row at a time. Pixel scrolling mode that provides smooth view scrolling experience. Touch scrolling mode. Postpone scrolling and target indication via vertical scrolling tooltips. This video will also describe the API that you can use to scroll the view or respond to end user scrolling operations. When you scroll the view vertically, you'll notice how the first row in the view is always fully displayed. In other words, the default scrolling step is one row. The same happens when you group data. The view is scrolled one row at a time. To enable pixel scrolling, access the grid view's properties, expand options behavior, and set allow pixel scrolling to true. Now run the application to see that the scrolling is now smooth, thus allowing for rows to be partially visible. The same happens with the grouped view. Next, notice that if you collapse all group rows, the vertical scroll bars automatically disappear as it's no longer needed. This behavior is also customizable. Set the view's vert scroll visibility property to always to reserve space for the scroll bar even if scrolling is not required. This is of course a classic scroll bar representation and many modern applications use a touch enabled scroll bar version. To change the scroll bar style, go to Code, make sure to reference the extra editor's namespace, and then set the Scroll UI Mode option to Touch in the Forms constructor. This mode implies that you scroll using gestures, and the scroll bar simply indicates the current position and then automatically fades out. If you are using the mouse, it will also appear when the pointer moves over the grid, so you can scroll the grid by dragging the scroll bar thumb too. The next thing to try is postponed vertical scrolling. First, disable pixel scrolling and then remove the live vert scroll flag from the scroll style property value. In this mode, the view is updated only after you have released the scroll bar thumb. While you are still scrolling, a tooltip indicates the target position. If the view is grouped, tooltips will display group row values along with data row indexes. In the grid view's properties, set the vert scroll tip field name property to name. Now the data row tooltip will show values from the specified field instead of record indexes. Now let's take a look at the vertical scrolling API. The code will update the status bar with the current price range every time you scroll the view. Now let's return to design time. Access the grid view events and handle the top row changed event which fires when the view is scrolled vertically. The handler simply calls the update status method, which is also called in the forms load handler. The method first obtains the top visible rows handle by converting from the current top visible index. Then use this row handle as a parameter when obtaining the price in that top row. Similarly, obtain the price value in the bottom row. To get the bottom rows handle, call a separate method. In that method, enumerate visible indexes starting with the top visible index and stop the cycle if the index goes up to the row count value indicating that you've reached the last visible row. In the cycle body, use the isRowVisible method to determine whether the currently processed row is within the grid's visible area. Quit the enumeration if you reach a row that's below the current scroll range. 
The row handle where the cycle stopped specifies the last visible row and thus it's the method's return value. Finally, in the update status method, change the scroll bar text to display the two price values from the top and bottom rows. And let's run the application. Enable the live scrolling mode again to see the status bar text change while you're scrolling. Now create three button titles, Make Row Visible, Move Focus, and Change Top Row to explore different ways of scrolling the view in code. The first handler will use the Make Row Visible method to scroll to the last data row in the view. The second simply sets focus to the same row using the Focused Row Handle property. The third handler uses the top row index property to try and scroll the view to the last visible row. When you run the application, you'll see that all three methods will scroll the view to the bottom.